Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another exciting episode of Super Couch Fighters Arcade Mode. Joining us on the couch, as always, is Brett Bayo. I never fucking leave, man. Dodger. Wow. Michael Santel. Beep boop. Let's do this. What is beep boop? It was He's just a like robot. a robot. Yeah, she made yeah she made a robot noise like Rubik's. I did what? I no. I you said. Did, like, Mm. What was Nobody your noise? Nobody knows what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what is happening. Santel is on the sticks. Hell yeah. yeah. He even off camera forged his team. I did. I put Vegeta on there. And Boo. Oh, yeah. I made Boo and, too. And See, boo, you already forgot boo, about boo. it. I did. Uh, all right. So you've got to terminate at Napa over there on the right. Okay. So which path are you going to take? I'm going to go one, mm -hmm. two, Oh, see, it's this. But yam, boy. Maybe I do yam. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Sure. Here, here. Here. Yeah. Here, here. Then Tenshin Han gets left out at the top. Uh, I'll hit him up after I get Vegeta. All right. Okay. Sure. So first to <clears throat> Yamcha. Good luck, sir. Thank you. You got this. I am currently enjoying an apple turnover. Uh, I haven't hit any apple yet. What do you the like the do you like the fruit inside the in the pastries? Depends on what the fruit is. Agreed. Yeah. What is it with you? <laughs> you have no clue what's going on, do you? Wow, it's like you heard the top of our episode. This music. <laughs> oh jeez. Why would you even ask me that? Yeah, candy. Oh shit! Uh, we've already we've told Boo that a couple times already. Of <laughs> course. Have you ever had a Big Mac? <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. It's three three breads. Think about that, Boo. She's a scientist. She knows all about food, too. Uh, poor Bulma. You feel bad that... There's a reason she's angry all the time. <laughs> is it because people, like, cook for me? Is that why it is? Like, that's like that's her story arc, <laughs> right? Mm. That's her that's her story arc and at this point. It's like Boo coming over, and she, there's got to be food for Boo, and then Beerus shows up, and she's right. like, well, fuck, I don't want him to blow up the planet, so here's the, I'll make you something. Right. Goku shows up. Like, the bitch no. doesn't have time to make time machines. Like, she must be miserable. Cancer would be cured if it weren't for these hungry-ass motherfuckers. Right, seriously. Bulma, Bulma could be doing some really important shit in the scientific world. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Well, Santel's going in. I want him dead. Yeah. What? Jesus Christ. I'm killing these clones. This is... That's a... I think this is the clone version of our first team. Oh, it might... Oh, is it? Is Fun. it... Uh, oh. Human oh, boys. You, you're right, human boys. Home boys. Oh. No way out. No way out. Hold that. Nice, nice, good, beautiful. I don't think he's gonna be able to deal with that, man. I don't. I don't think there's any way that the other. How do you team do the? Um, wait, have you played with Boo very much? No, not not, not much, too much. I'm sure, I could figure it no, out. No, but what you're it. the one who I saw do it. Um, how do you do the uh, the thing where you like launch some of your tongue and it wraps around a person? Oh, oh! How do you shoot your body off? Oh! The pink uh, thing. It's quarter circle back with uh, four. With, okay. With special. Try it. All right. <sighs> you know where you wrap somebody in your in your pink goo? Yeah, it's a. That's, ah! Yeah, that one. Ah! There you go. <laughs> the thing that we all wish we could do. <laughs> Throw off our pink goo. This is my body, which will, shall be given up to wrap you up. Hmm. Dodger, have you ever um? Wrap somebody in my goo. Yeah, you ever, you ever we got somebody? a baby. Wrap somebody. Yeah, it's right. It's uh, yeah. right now. I mean, it's happening right now. At this moment. Have you ever been inside a Catholic church? A Catholic church, yes. Not like it was like only one or a couple times, right? Yeah. Isn't it? I am a devout Catholic. <laughs> right. Like I know that's not the case. <laughs> that's why I was wondering if you've ever been inside one because because mm. I grew up Catholic. Okay. So to me, church was that. Right. Oh, so when I would tell people about, you know, like, oh yeah, you're going to church, like oh yeah, you do this and that, they go, wait, what? Y'all drink wine and shit at church? 
<laughs> so yeah, man, we get turned the fuck up in church, man. <laughs> Heart up about the body and blood of Christ. I was going to say, are you trying to say that you don't eat the body of Christ when uh, when you go to church? I remember missing the, f- the fuck out. Yeah, yeah I got to eat them crackers. <laughs> I got a lot of shit from people for eating the crackers. Whenever I went to my friend's churches, I would always do that. And they would always be like, you know what you're doing? I'm like, yeah, fucking snack time. Like, I never understood. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Are you saying you would like church is even going on you would like open the box and no, eat the crackers no 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 but I would they'd be like oh they're gonna do communion now like get in line I'm like yeah fuck yeah let's go like I just so wait if they would tell you to get in line why would they then criticize you after uh because I didn't understand what I was doing I just wanted the fun treats right <laughs> I just wanted, I just wanted to like. I make, totally understand. And I didn't understand like. I think you got fucked up friends though. I, I get. How dare you! I just remembered there being conversations of him, them being like, you don't understand what you're doing. I'm like, no, I got bread. Let's go. Like, I was happy with that. You are, yes. You did not understand what was happening. And that's okay. It's not your fault. <laughs> Catholic churches are scary. There's a lot of blood and people being like m- mangled. True and true. Yeah. Yes. yes. They're, but they're very pretty. They yeah. are beautiful. Yeah. Some of the some of the most beautiful churches. They have yeah. those great tableaus, like where they come off like statues that come off the wall. Reliefs. Almost. Is that what they're called? Reliefs. Yeah. Mm. I feel like the old would have just fought alone anyway. The only reason I was thinking about it is because Boo's awful Christ-like. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> how we got here. Look, man. He fell. He got risen. And now all he wants is food. There you go. He likes hanging out with his friends. He likes to do big arms bits. He loves getting everyone together for one final supper. He makes miracles. Very demanding. He's often breaking off parts of his body and like, yo, here it is. (laughs) That's right. Here on Couch Fighters, we're all about sacrilege. (laughs) (laughs) Look at those two. Those two are on the team forever. Let's go. Vegeta's knees will forever fuck me up. What do you mean? Too big, too bulky, too strong. It, they're literal. It's literally like somebody cut out a knee in styrofoam and then and then glued it to his body. Uh, now I'm gonna have to pay attention to Just his knees. Just stare at his knees, man. Right, okay, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that. SRK with his knees. We'll get a lot of good knee up in here. All right. I want to see his knees. My favorite song. Look at those knees. Oh yeah. They're like blocks. Yeah. Somebody put a block on there because his knees were absent. It's just really well defined. Did you just refer to himself in the third person? I think Vegeta. he did. Or was he talking about the planet? Oh, so true. confusing. This is for Vegeta, the, the, bla- the planet. That's for yourself? Um, yo, maybe that's why, because he was the Prince of Saiyans, and his dad was like, oh no, my son has, my son has no knees. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have we can't have a prince of Saiyans with no knees. You think he freaked out? And so like, yeah, maybe he's got maybe he's got like little prosthetic knees on there because his dad was like, I don't. Mm. <laughs> a sad story. <laughs> it's true now. <laughs> this is canon. Vegeta has no knees. Mm. And then he was given Frieza. So look, a lot happened in Vegeta's life. I might explain why he's so short. Oh, because he didn't have knees. Right. And they're like, they were, they never grew with him, you know? How tall is Vegeta supposed to be? <clears throat> with hair or without? Without. <laughs> Great question. Without, uh, um, I'd probably place him at like 5'5". Five, five. Maybe oh, like Wolverine height. Sweet, what a sweet tiny boy. Sweet is the wrong word, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> that's what it's all about, man. Well, like, those little dudes who are ferocious, you know, it's that Wolverine complex. Absolutely. Or that, is, that, is a, that is a good anime trope, too. Ang- guys. Ang- angry tiny boys. Mm. Yeah, they, they were always inspirational to me when I was younger. Yu Yu Hakusho's oh. got a tiny angry boy. Hell yeah, he yeah. He's the best. All right, that's right. Good shit. Level up, everybody. Still not using Boo. Man, you're not, you just... It's Vegeta. I'm so excited to get Vegeta up in here. I understand. Uh, oh! Whoa! Where is he? Got it. Right, the longer so, it takes for you to get there, he gets stronger, right? Is that how it's supposed to work? I don't know. All right, so now I'm going to go... I'm going to do this, this, and go back up around, or should I go up here? I mean... I think I think rescue and then Frieza makes sense. Okay. And, and go in the little loop. Yeah. <sighs> go tanks. Yo, let's get it. Are we going to get a cutscene for go tanks, I wonder? Hopefully yeah, yeah, here we go. Hopefully they're not sleeping. They're oh, sleeping. They're, oh, they're sleeping. The boys. Look at these dumb boys. They're so cute. It's the boys. 
Th- now those two would be the ultimate. Like they aren't hurt. They were just sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Nap time. Ooh. Oh, nothing happened to them. They still have full power. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Got another new person on the team. I'm. I want him. I want him on the team. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm braced. I got my brace on. Call my brace face. I would love to see Gotings aged up a little bit. You know, I would love to see that. Mm. Right, because technically, when they get older, so wouldn't the other form also get older? Absolutely. Of course, yeah. Absolutely. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Goku and Vegeta fuse and they're just a child. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I want baby Goku in this game. Do you really? Yeah. Like Goku and, but like, there's been a lot highlighting how unstable Gotenks is because they're children, right? Correct. Like, Correct. Correct. Can you imagine baby Goku and baby Vegeta fused together? Jeez it would Louise. be a nightmare. <laughs> So, like, are we talking Potara fusion? Or are we talking the, the dance? Uh, oh, wait, the Gotenks, Gotenks is the dance. Yeah. Yeah, so you're talking about the dance? Yeah, yeah. So what you're talking about is baby Gogeta. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'd be really cocky. Yeah. And, and powerful. Right? They're, well, all of the growth, gone. <laughs> like, imagine. <laughs> Kill him! Good job, thanks Sento, for not you're a one-man wrecking machine. Hell yeah, I am. Vegeta's all you need. Oh no, you're proving him right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need anyone. And Santel's like, that's right, you don't. No, I need Boo in my life. Piccolo comes in. <laughs> <up. laughs> or Piccolo, or Piccolo. Look, right, knows? Got my big boy in. Come on, light him up. Mm. Throw my body at him. There you go. Blocked. Mm. Mm. Yo, just feeling them. yourself mm. over there? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I'm digging this. Hell oh. yeah. Oh, get the throw. Lick this boy. I'm licking him. I'm licking him good. Oh. Licking him like candy. I don't understand that cartwheel movie as. Like, I don't know what it's for. Journey Man Cookie. Boop. Um, um, um. Maybe to get them from the air back down to the ground? I don't know if it spikes. it spikes. Doesn't he have... I think he has... Hmm. Maybe it's just yeah, movement it then. Yeah, it doesn't... I don't know what it's for. Yeah, just an escape? I don't know. No, because it's got a hitbox. I kicked him. Yeah. Interesting. But, like, I think his air S will spike down, so I don't know. I don't mm. know. There's got to be some purpose that I'm not seeing. Wake up, our children. Wow. Wake up, babies. Cons- uh, what's everyone doing here? Glad you're okay. You too, go, Tim. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I feel like? Um, <laughs> go, Tim asked for Gohan and Piccolo, didn't fucking give a shit about his father standing right there. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> you ever have your friends' houses that you go to and you go over there and it's like, you, your, your friend's mom and dad are over there and you're like, oh, how are you guys? And you're like, oh, we're good, we're good, I have things with you. And then you have your other friends who you go over their house and you, you never say a word to their parents. Yeah. And they never say a word to you. I do not speak with Mr. Landine. When Mr. Landine is home, he is goes to his office. Right. And you feel kind of bad because you feel like the only reason they sequester themselves is because you're there. But it's like, I didn't ask you to do that, man. Like, we can hang out. You just didn't say shit. <laughs> That's how I feel like it is with Boma and Goten. It's like, it's like, I don't talk to Goten. <laughs> <laughs> he is my you son's friend. That, right, Goten? All we have to do is fuse and we'll be able to fight for sure. I don't know how to feel about how often you boys are one person. Inside of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a real deal. Things are going to be real fucking weird. This is going to be real <sighs> weird as you guys get older. <laughs> maybe that's Goten's. You're going to hit puberty and be like, maybe we shouldn't do this. Uh, or maybe we should do this more. Look, I don't know. It's, it's like, who knows? Who knows could, what could that's going to be like. you Trunks growing up and having a fucking girlfriend? And then she's like, I just feel like you're never intimate with me. And then like, neither of them know why, but we all know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's because this is true intimacy. Yeah. yeah. How do you get more intimate than this? It's true. 
that's when like Trunks has a fight with his girlfriend and they're both very young like 17 and 18 and they have a falling out and then Goten shows up right as she leaves and Trunks is like what are you doing here and Goten's like I just sensed you were oh. not feeling be- you weren't feeling good what's happening here <sighs> All of the parents are just watching them fail at being powerful. Because there's gotcha. not a link inside of them yet. Yeah, mm. so they're like, we're going to beat up a guy. You know and what needs to be inside everybody's these? Everybody's literally just staring at them right. while they're like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what needs to be inside these two boys? Another person. What? It's coming. Oh, I get it. I was like, I don't. I was there with them. I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> I don't know where this goof went. Have you ever seen that movie, like, uh, what was it called? It was by Peter Jackson called, like, Heavenly Creatures, Beautiful Creatures, with Melanie Linsky and um, Kate Winslet. It was about two young girls in, I think, Ireland? The cre- with the creepy um, uh, claymation guy? He kind of. The golem thing? Kind of. Okay. Right? But it, Yeah, they got a go to the trunks thing going on where, like, that movie was, like, two young girls who were just too close to each other. It wasn't sexual. Right. But they're just very intimate and to the point where the parents are like, they can't see each other anymore. No! Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, seriously, Gotings. It's too much. It's too much. And how do you, like, there's no good way to parent that. There's no <laughs> good way to come out of that as a parent looking good, being like, I don't want you to see your friend because you like him too much. I don't want you to fuse with your friend anymore. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. All right. Perfect. But I want you here. You can stay. And I want you to be Vegeta. Cool. Look at all those 12s. <sighs> Team uh-huh. that old dad. Team 12. All right, to Frieza, correct? Yeah. Whatever. Cool. By himself, Yo, though. real Frieza. By himself. Just chilling. Mm. Now, <laughs> I want to see Gotenks go back in time just to kill Frieza. On Namek. S- just to add insult to injury. Well, here you go. Oh. Gotenks is here. There's no need for you grown-ups. God damn it. A battle is no place for games. I don't think Vegeta's ever seen them. They're children. This is your fault. What the heck have you taught? They're children. <laughs> You're letting children fight and fuse. You're fucking them up real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Parent Dodger is here. I like Vegeta. This is giving, driving me crazy. I like Vegeta giving Piccolo shit for like, what did you teach my kids? Yeah. What did you do to them? Look, man, it was Goku. I didn't. Yeah, that's what he's saying. He's blaming it on them. Take more responsibility. <gasps> Whoa! Shit, hecked. shots fired. Is a big hand to play in this. <laughs> He's like, no, not me, but Kakarot, definitely. Just like these two troublemakers. To be fair, your aggressiveness and your habit of taunting enemies has rubbed off on them as well. I'll pick a low. Uh, can't believe she's <laughs> Louise. Can somebody, I like this. I, I like want that this screen convo. Caption. No, this is all Kakarot's fault. I think that was the most poignant scene so far. Mm. Uh, to be fair, though, they keep talking about Gotenks like, like he is a little kid. He's fucking Super Saiyan three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he's up above everyone else right now. Like, there's nothing you can you can't scold them. There's nothing you can do. They're well, too powerful. Well, here's the thing: is like, I, I guess turning this into a nature over nurture. Here we go. Mm. Let's sort, hear it. Sort of a sort of a thing. Yeah. If they were. Uh, surrounded by other Saiyans and grew up with entirely Saiyans on planet Vegeta, mm. like, their behavior would be totally understandable. Everybody would be, like, that's the sort of personality that a kid with a lot of power would need in that kind of society. They'd be lauded society, for but They'd the, be rewarded the, that's for not, Yeah, but that's not where they live, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Almost. Mm. Try it now. Yo, Piccolo, nice. set that shit! Oh my god, he's on your team! Yes! Yeah! Yes! Just like in the show. Best Green Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Green Dad. Don't call me that. <laughs> hey, you should attack from behind with a vanish. Okay. It's over. Yo, I'm gonna vanish. <laughs> Except, don't do that because you can't. Okay. Good shit. Is he dabbing? Oh boy. Is he dabbing? <laughs> I think he close. is. So it's proud. <laughs> That's the kind of show I That's tolerate. That's a good dab. If my kid came to me, he's like, look. I drank at this party. Uh, it wasn't really for me. 
I went against your wishes and I drank at this party. It wasn't really for me. I don't think I'm going to do it anymore. I'd be like, all right, fair enough. You, you've seen me learn your lesson. If I saw my kid and he was dabbing, I'd be like, you're fucking grounded. <laughs> Get a fucking personality. <laughs> wow, damn. All right. I'm going to Piccolo, Frieza. What? No. I'm going. Piccolo, Tien, yeah? Tien, Boo, Frieza, Nappa. Yeah. All right. Okay. I like it. You're grounded for a week. A whole if your week kid dabs, for dabbing? Yeah. Why? All the other kids are doing it. That's precisely why. But my favorite streamer, Dodger, dabs all the time. She's a dabber. I have her number. I'm going to call her. <laughs> Stop dabbing. You're ruining my kid. Talk to my son. <laughs> tell him not to do that shit. And that's when you're like, I'll tell him. And you get on the phone. You're like, keep doing that shit. First off, good, that good, good, we know good exactly dabs. how that conversation would go. It would go, first off, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of you, Dodger. Um, I just wanted to know, like, what are some of your favorite, what's your favorite video game? And in the background, give me the fucking phone. It's <laughs> Yo, don't it. Don't it. Oof. Oh, Sal, why did you get so crazy? Because I've been hiding in the bush. My cell impression is terrible. I gotta work on that. Because I've been hiding in the bush. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll work on it. Oh, yo, I got a, a charge up punch. What do you mean? If you do quarter circle forward and hold it with. Is it back? How was I doing it? He was like. I was like holding it. And if you tell me what it looks like. There it is. Just That's just it. stand three, right? Yeah, it was just yeah. stand three. Maybe it does more damage or something. Get out of here, Cell. What if Gotenks could take Cell? Level three, sure. I wonder if like, I don't know, regular Super Gotenks could have taken Cell. I'm not sure. Great question. I don't know if it's that great. This is the kind of shit that fucking arc uh, forums they talk about. Like, could... Could base oh. trunks. Boy. I gotta go back and fight him. You gotta go back. Do I gotta it. go back. Come here, team. Well done. Uh, how, how dope would it have been if Raditz were in this game? So that you could play Vegeta Nappa Raditz. Mm -hmm. The original, the originals. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Tasty. But Real good. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm really surprised Nappa made it into the game. Raditz True. doesn't stack up. I mean, I guess Tien's playable, but like, what would Raditz do that the other Saiyans don't do? He can't go Super you mean Saiyan. Like, terms, well, so? <laughs> I mean, like, you can say that, make that same argument. Krillin can't go Super Saiyan. Like, you can make, you can give Raditz an interesting moveset. You just have to get creative. Like, mm. what they did for Nappa. Like, Nappa doesn't, is not very fleshed out moveset wise at all in the show. Yeah, but, definitely not. But in this game, he plants Cyberman, and that's brilliant. You know? Mm, that's right. really cool. You can get creative with Raditz, you know? You can make some stuff happen. Take this boy. And then she makes fun of my fucking cell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. I like that he has his tail still. It's the best. Oh, remember when all these boys had tails? Yeah. So, Man. what would you? And I know it's. I mean, it's. It's not good because it's not a new character. But what if we? What if one of? What if a new character was old Vegeta? In the old armor with the tail, and like he, you know, his level three was he slapped you as an Ozark. I wish there okay. were alternate costumes in this mm. shedang so there bad. There might be eventually. I want them. But Santel, answer your question. I mean, like, one of the rumors flying. Did you just combo into that? Oh, wow. Yeah, I did. Uh, one of the rumors flying is that we might get base Goku and base Vegeta as characters. Oh, that'd be so cool. See, I don't, I don't think so. Like, we have enough Gokus! Right. But Goku is. The and Vegeta is the show. You know what I mean? But like, I don't like. There's Eat my he's fucking already ghosts. Make, like. Okay, look. If this were just the second Goku that's gonna happen, you might have an argument there. This will be the fourth Goku mm. if it happens. Come on, dog. It's gotta stop somewhere. And true, <laughs> um, base Goku and base Vegeta. You know, based on their Saiyan arc counterparts, they would definitely have some unique shit. You know, Kaioken. Um, Ozaru, like you said, for Vegeta. Mm. We don't, we, there's other people. Got it, gun! Yeah. Wow, I'd like perfect. him to have <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be good. Damn, I, look at all this shit going on. All right, fuck it. Final flash time. Oh, shit. Kill him. Mm, nothing. All right, get back in there. <laughs> nothing. No, not enough. All right, throw some shit at Why him. Why don't you try the special beam cannon, but hold it. Never mind. Everybody dies. Nice. My ghosts! Nice. Nice buddy. 
you remember what Super Boo used to look like after he got hit by one of those ghosts? No. He was all. He looked like the T one thousand when he got hit by like the grenade launchers. Like, <laughs> like oh yeah, like holes in him. Like, like worse than he's ever looked before. Every time he gets hit by one of those ghosts. Ooh, okay. Okay, so now I think you can go back to your original plan. Okay. One. Yes. A failure. And then Tian, yeah. Thank you. I see what you're doing. Also, have we unlocked any level two? We gotta. I gotta edit our skills. Yeah, it's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a hot I feel second. like I feel like we've got some skills that we just have not bothered to look at. I got the skills to pay the bills. Always. Man, we are clone bopping machines today. Hell yeah! I'm excited that we got the all the Goldie boys though. Look at this Goldilocks. Look at him. Can't even look at his opponent. He's just like looking at himself. I don't think I can play Gotenks in this game. I think he's just too crazy for me. Oh, I love him. He feels fun. Good, good, good. I like this move. I mean, right. he should. He's children. True. He's children. Yes. <laughs> he he's multiple childs. He is children. <laughs> he is children. Look at these fun sentences we get to say due to the circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's fun when it like continues for a while. Oh, it goes in different directions. So you can hold that top move, right? So you can like yeah. steer it? A little Maybe. bit. Try so here's, experiment. here's the light one. Can here's, you extend that by holding the light one? Uh, okay. No? Okay. No, not that one, but the heavy one you can. Oh, okay. All right, I need... Give me this shit. I need Peter. Thank you for waiting, Mr. Nappa. <laughs> Thank you. Uncle Nappa in another Uncle universe. Uncle Nappa. Oh. All right, I think I've revealed this already. But... The one, you know the name of this. What's the name for when somebody takes work that's not their own but makes Malga out of it? Uh, plagiarism? Plagiarism, yeah. Not plagiarism, like like the fucking Yamcha thing. That's, that's like a name for that. Oh. An homage? Oh, like a doujinshi. Thank you! Yeah. So the only one of those that I've ever read is Dragon Ball Multiverse. I think we've talked about this before. Mm. And there's just, it's it's okay written, but there's just some pretty interesting shit. Just from what if type scenarios, and one right. of my favorite universes that participates in this Dragon Ball multiverse tournament is a universe where Kak Baby Kakarot never hit his head oh. and went through with his mission. Oh! So the team that's there is King Vegeta, is the leader, and Nappa, Raditz, and Kakarot are like his backup crew. Damn! So they just kill Earth. Yeah, Earth is done in that universe. Okay. But like, you don't see that. the The story is like a multiversal tournament. And then, like, from universe, I don't know, 10, it's King Vegeta and his crew, and they're all in Saiyan armor, and they're just badasses. Oof. And Kakarot's Yo, that like... that sounds awesome. Have you not read that? No. You, I, I, I know I've recommended a couple things to you over the course of the series. Yeah. This is right up your alley. Oh, do you want to do Boo first? It's too late. You buffed it. I didn't. I, I'm sorry. I should have went to you, Boo. I, no, you it doesn't matter. It I didn't think about it. I don't think it matters. Um, You would love it. You would love it. And Kakarot's the wild card of the group. He's like the one where they're like, Kakarot's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. seriously. I love it. Pretty cool. Wouldn't, but if the mm. universe had gone that way, wouldn't they, wouldn't the Saiyans though be like generally not as powerful as what they became because of what happened? Uh, that's a really good point. But yeah, like are they, have they hit Super Saiyan in there? There's no way. Yes, they have. They okay. have. Because spoilers, just for them, they all because they were all together, they were able to take out Frieza together. Oh, that makes sense. And Vegeta, King Vegeta, is able to go Super Saiyan three. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty badass. They're all able to go Super Saiyan. I think. I like that. I like that beam. Mouth beam. I like my mouth beam. I also like this like hold you, like mess with you button. I think we're bearing the lead here. Will you at the top of this switch back to Go Tanks? Okay. And just walk towards your opponent. Okay. Wrong one. Oh, no, go tanks. No one. Do it. Uh, <laughs> we are child. <laughs> it, it, I hate adults. <laughs> it, rem it reminds me of uh, when uh, in Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, him and the other guy. Fame and fortune, fame and fortune, we're <laughs> gonna be on our way. What a reference. I love that movie. I the mean, really, that walk could be in any uh, 
any of the big chorus pieces of a musical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you hear the people sing? Singing yeah. the songs of oh, Angry Dead. 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 Mm. Slap that. I'm in a beehive or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a ball. Vegeta. Okay. I mean, did they okay. Ever, did they ever explain, was Nappa another kid that was like sold to Frieza? Sold? Oh. Or not sold, but like was he another Saiyan that was mm -hmm. that was just like sent off to Frieza as a kid and that's why he lived when Vegeta was blown up? No, he lived when the planet was blown up because he, his job was like Vegeta's handler. Prince Vegeta's oh. handler. Like when Vegeta was like five, Nappa was around like his, it's like his fucking babysitter. Mm. He's like Alfred. You know okay. I mean? Wow. That's a really fun way to think about Nappa. Yeah. Do you think Nappa. Vegeta holds like feelings for him in his heart? Like, oh, he so, you, so you got to watch the Saiyan saga again. Okay, gotcha. Okay, you don't think he has feelings in his heart? Like, he, Mary fried, Poppins? he fried Nappa. He, oh, he fried literally Nappa. blew up Nappa. <laughs> Vegeta! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Which is bizarre listen, because there's literally no Saiyans left. Before you fight Boo. Before? We're going to have to call it. What do you mean? I mean, this was a long chapter. You fought a lot of dudes. Next time on Super Couch Fighters Arcade Mode, we're going to bop this Boo. Who what level is he? We're going to bop this Boo. He's, he's strong. I don't know how strong. Level 20? Yeah. Yo. We're going to bop this level 20 Boo and then finish up this chapter. Next time on Super Couch Fighters Arcade Mode because we're running out of time. Hell Goodbye. yeah. Goodbye. Next Thanks. episode's gonna be epic as frick. True. Yeah. But Thanks. this episode was brought to you by Dodger Coffee. Dodger Aww, Coffee. Yes, totally it'll wake breath. your face. It'll wake your face. Wake your face is a pretty good saying. I don't know if you want to put that on a shirt or not. It's, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> store it. I'm gonna store that up in my old noggin. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs> see you guys next time. Adios. Bye.